Hello band level three, this is Miss Williams and I'm taking you through week two of our online band classes. All right, so let's go to August 17th. We're gonna double click on that. It'll take us to this page. And these are the things that we're working on this week. Daily practice. Uh, many of you I found while we were doing online tr um, courses and, and learning that many of you are not practicing correctly. We are only practicing maybe to play it once correctly through a song and that is not enough. So instead of practicing to get it right only once, we need to practice so we won't get it wrong. And so in order to do that, we're going to start to really work on smart music. Um, what I need you to do first when you get here is actually set up to practice. Make sure you have a nice room space to be in. Um, close the door so you won't be interrupted. Make sure that you are, you've got some water there if you need it. Um, you can put a do not disturb sign on the door and get ready to play for a good 30, 40 minutes at least, okay? You're gonna start with breathing gym and you can pick any of these exercises to do. If you're a percussionist, I would stretch my arms and my wrists and make sure all of my body feels relaxed and ready to go. Um, if you're a wind player, you're going to need to do some of these breathing, breathing gym exercises. Okay, after that, this the rest of this site is going to take you to smart music. So we're going to click on a button and go to smart music. It's very important that you warm up. I know some of us skip this step when you are practicing at home. So I want you to actually go step by step through these songs and play them at least once, even more, um, if we're not getting them correct, okay, if we're not playing them correctly. So you'll click on uh, the first, second, third, and fourth warm-up, okay? After you play those, I want you to play your exercise in Essential Elements. That's 103 for you this week. So in some steps here, if you get any notes wrong, remember to clap and count your rhythms. Remember you can tizzle the rhythms with your mouth. Remember that you can finger through without any air going through your instrument or slide position through without air going through your instrument. Sing along, so just listen to it and sing along. See if you can match pitch with your voice. So all of these are really good things for you to practice if you're having difficulty with, with the notes. All right, so after you do your warm up and you do your exercise, you're gonna play your concert music. Some of the concert music is right here. Again, start to listen to this, uh, listen to it daily. Um, if you can't play the whole thing, that's okay. Remember, you can chunk it up. You can do small parts and then take a new part each day. So don't feel like you have to do all of the concert song in one day. So you're going to do warm-up, your exercise, your concert songs. Um, every day, we're going to be working on this every day. So it, I know that sounds like it takes a lot of time, but really it will take you about 30 minutes. Okay, that's less than, than, you know, two Spongebob cartoons. So I need you to see if you can go through all of these different exercises and play at least once daily, okay? Listening is part of practicing, so don't forget to listen. Okay, so that is what we're doing daily. Um, throughout the week, we are going to have Google Meets for each section in BAN, and that's 7th and 8th grade. So I know we met just once on Wednesday this past week, and it was wonderful seeing everybody, but it is a very large group, and I felt like I couldn't listen to you play in that type of environment. Not very well. So we're going to divide you up into your different sections. We're going to have 7th grade and 8th graders there, and we're going to go through our daily practice regime. We're actually going to go through a lot of the music that I was just talking about on Smart Music. So make sure that you click on here for your instrument, whatever day of the week it is, and then you'll click Join the Google Meet, and we'll see each other at 4, okay? The next thing I want to tell you about 
is in Canvas, we are going to start doing our music theory worksheets, okay? We've got music theory worksheets. We sometimes will play games like we did last week. Um, this isn't open for you just yet, but it will be soon. So I'm going to preview it for you. You get two attempts, so if you don't do too well on the first one, you can try again. You'll listen to the video. This is about simple and compound time, which is great because we're doing 103, and that's in 6-8. So it's compound time. So I want you to listen really carefully to the video, and then you're going to answer these questions right below. Again, if you mess up, that's okay. You can try again. You've got another attempt. Okay, so the last thing I want to share with you, make sure by Friday you pick the very best smart music recording that you've made of 103, okay? I'll put on here a link to how to submit your smart music uh, songs. All right, guys, that's uh, week number two. I'll see you online and at school.